Okay, hi guys. Um, well, welcome. I'm doing the tutorial for um, the steel ball smashing the concrete one. Today we're going to need a plugin called the Destruction Plugin. The download link will be in the description. Trust me, it is really hard to find. But just get in the download link. Then you, all you do is you just copy the folder into your Maxon Cinema 4D plugins folder. And then it will show up. You'll see it will be here. It's just called Destruction. Anyway, so, so what you want to start off with is you want to start off with just click here. So this is kind of your lights and stuff, so you just want to make a floor. So this looks like it's only this, but a floor is infinite, meaning no matter how far you go, the floor will be there. So it won't, so items won't fall off when you smash it. You can make it that it falls off, but this is just the way I do my effect right now. Anyway, then you want to make a sphere. So you just go into, so for those of you who don't know, this is just the object creation menu. Just click and then sphere. Um... If you push down your middle mouse button, you get these. You can also click here, and then it will do that. Anyway, so you just want to look at your side, any of the side views. Just want to bring it up. Or what you can do is, if you've got it clicked on, over here in your attributes menu, if you go to chord, and then on the Y, if you just double its size, or I, so there we go. So it, this is a 200 size sphere, as far as I know. What's it now? No, sorry, you doubled it. You put the same amount of its radius so it's radius 100 so I put it up 100 anyway for segments just put 50 if you've got a slow machine you can leave it on that this is just a better quality for it but anyway then what you want to do is click on the sphere and click make editable or you can hit C key on your keyboard up to you now that you've got the sphere selected you can go into your plugins and hit destruction so here's your destruction plugin now, word of note, I would recommend constantly saving, because unfortunately this plugin does crash occasionally. Um, also, it only crashes if you crank it up really high, and also I wouldn't recommend cranking it up too high for another reason, the fact that if your computer is not like a Mac Pro or an Alienware or like a really buff kind of computer that's like could run a county on it or something, I wouldn't really recommend doing it too high. So 6 seems to work for me. Also hit delete original object. That just A, well, do does what it says, but for me it somehow prevents it from crashing. If I forget to do that, it crashes. Don't know why. So you just hit OK. Just wait a minute, don't click anything, otherwise you will definitely crash it. Anyway, now you can just close it. And if you look in our perspective view, if I just make this maximized, we've got like the sphere, which is all kind of well, cut up. That's what the destruction plugin does. Is it just randomly slices the object up. So that's what we wanted right there. So that that's kind of the goal we had. But we're not done yet. So in the sphere chunks, click on it and then go MoGraph, which is where you'll find this fracture object. So just click fracture object in the MoGraph menu. Then drag the sphere chunks into the fracture object. Then you can just close that down. Now on the fracture object, you want to go to object, and then where it says mode, change it from straight to explode segments. So basically, it will just it won't do anything now because it's not animated. Even if you play it, it doesn't do anything. But basically, that will be good in a minute because if you don't, it 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 just will not work the way you need it to. Anyway, then now you want to do all the kind of tedious bits of making it shatter. Well, it's not actually that tedious. But anyway, so you want to add a tag. Now tags, if you don't know, just are like almost things you apply to an object. So you just want to click on the fracture object. And then under the tags menu, go down to MoGraph. And then under the MoGraph tags, hit rigid body. Now, seeing this is clicked on, where it says trigger, we want to set that to on collision. Because if we don't, the minute we play the animation, it will just break. Which is not what we want, because if that happens, then it doesn't look like the ball's hit it. Because then the ball's still falling, but it's broken. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. So, that's what we want. So, if you see, nothing will happen as of now, for now. You also just want to click on the floor and do the same thing. Tags, MoGraph, or MoGraph, or whatever you want to call it, and just hit rigid body. 
Otherwise, when this explodes, it will just fall through the floor. So without this, the f the floor is just a plane, really. Um, now, what you also want to do is you want to make another sphere. And you just want to, you can kind of do this by eye, or you can set your own things. But you just want to make the smaller. You can make it larger, it's up to you. I just think it makes a better effect if you make it smaller. Let's bring it up high. Okay, maybe not that high. <laughs> it's a bit too high. Anyway, you just want to level it up. Now, don't change that position because as of current, it's going to drop right in the center. So unless you want it to drop down the side or something, you want to keep it like this. Then also, now to make this fall, you need to do a few things to it. Um, so you need to click on the sphere, and then you need to go MoGraph, and then Cloner Object. <coughs> I'm so sorry, excuse me again. Um, then you just want to drag the sphere in to this cloner object, just like you did the, excuse me, the, um, fracture object. Now, the reason we're doing this is you just want to bring this up again, is because if you don't, then Cinema 4D thinks it's a static object, meaning things will collide with it, but it just will not drop. It won't be affected by gravity. Cloner object allows it to be affected by gravity. So what you want to do is, in with the cloner object selected, under count, just change it to 1. So we only have one sphere, obviously, because we don't want 3 being absolutely bananas. Anyway, if you just play this, nothing happens. The reason being is we need to apply the rigid body tag to the cloner object as well. I'm going to go MoGraph rigid body. Now if you play it, hey! hey. It's 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 working, but it's not perfect yet. So, um, under the tag, you just want to maybe increase the force. I usually do it 15, and then I also change the mass. So I just change from world density to custom mass, and I change that to 15. All this does is it kind of gives it more of a downward pull. That it does more of a smash. Um. But what you also want to do is, on the floor, select its rigid body tag. And under um, collision, turn the bounce off and the collision noise off. So now the ball shouldn't bounce as much. So it will roll a bit, but it won't bounce. Because the bouncing kind of makes it look like it's not, excuse me, that kind of strong. Because if you think, if this is being able to smash the concrete then it can't be a whimperish bouncy ball so that just adds to the kind of effect but right now however nice this looks if you were to render this out it looks really bad so what you want to do is you first of all you just want to line it up the way you want it so I, I just like it like this where you don't see the ball coming you just see it smash voila so you can arrange your editor camera any way you want if you look at my original animation, I did add like a camera dolly, but I will show you how to do that in a different tutorial. I'm not going to show you to d how to do this that ooh, excuse me that in this tutorial. But if you just want to go into your contact browser, that's this icon here. And okay, let's actually just do this from the beginning. So if you've never opened this before, you're new to Cinema 4D, it will look like this. So you just want to open up the presets, then the Cinema 4D. Excuse me. Then you want to go um, materials. And then it's, ooh, I always forget this. It's, um, backgrounds, I think. No, it's not. Sorry, I, I absolutely, oh, basic. Excuse me, I always, always forget that. It's so funny. Anyway, um, so we just want to go to the top. I like concrete one. You can choose whatever. You, you can choose any of these materials, but these, these two I just like, um, for this. And then you can choose any of the metals. It doesn't really matter. It just depends what you're looking for. Um, then you drag the concrete to the sphere. So if we render that out, get the concrete. Um, and then you just drop down the cloner object and you drop the metal onto that. Just want to drag that there. It just makes it look better. So if we just play, I'll pause it when it smashes. You should see the the that starting to do that but now yet again if you watch my original tutorial uh, tutorial my original animation excuse me yet again it doesn't look like this